Hello everyone, welcome to part 68 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Here we are at um, the giant blacksmith. Yes, um, I'm here to show two things. The first is, I don't know if I ever gave him the crystal ember in the first playthrough, but... What's that? Shiny, shiny. Give me that. I make weapons shiny. Yes, he makes weapons shiny with the crystal ember. And there we go. With that, you can actually modify weapons to become crystal bonus. Right? We picked up a few crystal infused weapons, like the crystal halberd and crystal night shield. And uh, to quickly go over how that works is crystal is actually one of the strongest upgrades in the game. But the catch is you only get 10% of the durability and you can't repair anymore. So <laughs> think of it like you're making um, very glass cannon in the very literal sense. Um, you know, not very sustainable given that a lot of upgrade material is limited, right? Like, you can spend souls to buy up to plus 10, but then if you want to, like, max it out, that's going to be a few chunks, which you'd have to farm for down in Nulando, and especially to get that final slab. Just, like, don't recommend it. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to modify equipment. Um, I have a Claymore plus 10 here ready. Uh, we're not going to do a Crystal Claymore. Instead, we're going to do the Abyss Greatsword. That's going to use that Soul Vartorius, which we... Did not give to Sirnan and killed her for. Didn't have to kill her for it, but um, yeah, we could make the uh, great sword of Artorius. By the way, um, this is the cursed great sword, uh, not the true great sword. We're gonna make the abyss sword though, because this is kind of cooler in my opinion. With that we now have the with this great sword. Um, let's quickly try that out here. Uh, this requires. Not as much stats as our current one. A little less overall. So we're going to do that. Um, you know, same like idea. It, it's just that it's like a little more decayed. You might be wondering, what's the whole catch here? Um, well, the quick attack's the same. But the strong attack is a jump flip. Oh, how cool is that, right? We literally become Artorias. Um, same thing for one-handing it. Fast attack is the same, but... We do like a little spinny spin attack. Uh, so cool. So yeah, if you want to fight like Artorius, get your hands on this sword. Uh, keep in mind though, uh, it's not known. I mean, maybe it is, and I just don't know the lore. But it's not entirely known if um, he actually fought like that, or if that's just like, you know, abyss zombie Artorius <laughs> ways of fighting. Um, considering that Sif also does a lot of flippy flips, um, it might actually lean towards him at do actually fighting like that. Anyway, I don't know, guys. Like I said, go to the lore channels. <laughs> I'm more of just like a... I don't even know what this was. I wanted this to be something like From the Dark, but a little more casual. Um, and I think it turned out good. You know, we went over all the major points in the game, showed off some things. So, that being said, there's only one thing left to do, right? Is to fight Gwyn. Um, and this is true. However, part of me kind of just wants to end the series on part 69, <laughs> and we're only on 68. But there are a few more things that I want to show off, and for that we're going to have a nice little appetizer episode. And what we're going to do is going around slaughtering all the NPCs. <laughs> yeah, some of them give um, items that are special, uh, other than we just get to see how they fight. So let's take on our boy here first. I think he's going to... Oh, no, he does not forgive me. <laughs> he might forgive me if I like, step away. I oh, know he's mad. He is mad. So yeah, he fights just like any other giant. Oh. Okay. Um, wasn't ready to die. <laughs> Glad I did. I didn't know he calls you weak. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, and I put this all the way back here. It's kind of rough. Um, let me quickly check if I have the. Um, the lift in the right position. This may not be too bad. And uh, it might be in the right position. Let me just walk across. Not though, I'm gonna have to teleport back. Go through Sense Fortress, warp. It'd be a whole pain in the butt. But let's find out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, those giants aren't too bad, but you gotta watch out for that frenzy effect that they do. And of course, it's not in the right spot. 
All right, guys, I will cut back to fighting him. Okay, making our way oh, over here. Pretty sure I grabbed this last time, Dragon Slayer. Uh, bow. And then last time we got a punching attack on a gargoyle that's not here, but I went around that way because um, I went to the other bonfire down there in order to get the bridge where it needs to be. So now if we die, we can at least run across again. However, I'd never opened this door, so... Just getting that out of the way right now real quick. <laughs> and now we will finish the job. Let's get our souls as well, because we got quite a few. Ooh, it's very hard to see them. All right. Uh, actually, let's, let's heal. Let's heal. Let's uh, maybe soften them up with a little chaos magic. That's the wrong button. need to lock on. Okay, this is a little cheap, but I still, <laughs> I don't feel like dying again. Okay, now let's take him on. Oh no, 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 not again. Okay, let's put him out of his misery. Sorry, old friend. Oh, right in the nape, like it's attack on type. Mighty knight, he says, dang. That deserves a bow. So yeah, um, as you can see, we got something for our, for it though. The blacksmith giant hammer, which is a unique weapon that you get from killing him, obviously. <laughs> Let's see. All the blacksmiths, as we'll soon see, have their own hammer. Uh, this one talks about wooden hammer and giant blacksmith. The giant blacksmith forged with his wooden hammer as it would be hazardous to handle lightning weapons of metal. See, little details like that I just love in the game. <laughs> He, uh, he makes the lightning weapons, so therefore he's got the wooden hammer. Let's see here. Hawk ring. Okay, we got that last time, so you don't have to kill him. You can squeeze through here if you just want the hawk ring. So anyway, that is the giant blacksmith. So um, I'm kind of winging this, so I'm just going to cut to the next guy, whoever our next victim is, and I'll see you there. Okay, we're back in Firelink Shrine. Um, I thought this place would be more of a massacre. But um, there's not actually that many people <laughs> left here. Uh, we already killed Petrus. Um, our boy is already gone and dead. Um, all that's left is uh, this guy here. Oh, there you are. Just so you know, Master Logan has. It seems that he is. St I int you see, Master Logan with yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I leave on this journey. So I think if you buy him out, uh, he'll eventually go hollow and show up in Sen's Fortress. But. Um, that's a boring. Let's let's fight him like any soon. Damn, you've lost it, haven't you? Then I have no choice. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Yeah, it's a lot more fun to fight him when he's like actually sane. Oh, Maybe not really. <laughs> but we get a little bit more dialogue, which is cool, I guess. A measly two thousand souls. What do we get from him? Uh, just oh dang. Quite a few things actually. <laughs> so um, that's uh. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would cut to the next one, but there's actually one more guy around here who is sitting over there. So let's take him out. Ooh, nice jumping attack, bro. Okay. Slice. And jump. Okay. Grab our sacrifice ring, because why not? Let's talk to him real quick. Aye, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet, I suppose, great mind. Is there anything we care about? Oh, <laughs> we can finally get the master key. Uh, crystal weapons and armor, which I already have. Oh, actually, wait, no, all oh, the boss armor. <laughs> I don't know if I particularly care for any of it. Oh, dang, you can buy Gwyn's armor. Because it's new game plus. And the Artorius armor, which I already have. Don't like Gwyn's armor. Nah, there's your armor. I'm gonna look like this for the rest of the game. Thank you. That was a fine trade. I yes, Zombal, thank you for your business. Now I will repay you in full. Oh, oh no! <laughs> um I was hoping he'd get a little bit more of a dignified fight than that. <laughs> Alright, let me uh quit reload just in case he drops something. Oh man, that was <laughs> Well, we missed out on a little bit of dialogue, unfortunately. 
and then they cancel. We'll start offline. So one person we don't get to fight is uh, Sigurd, unfortunately. Um, I think because we messed up. Okay, he didn't drop anything anyway. Because we kind of uh, botched his quest, he sort of just despawns, which is a little, you know, anticlimactic, but what can you do? And actually, you know what? Stick with this face bomb. Let's go back to my good old shrug. Yeah, yeah. A little anticlimactic is what I was trying to say. <laughs> so um, I think that's Firelink Shrine cleared. Uh, I don't believe we can kill her. We'll leave her alive too, because I, I don't want Firelink Shrine to get destroyed. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. Okay, just in case, let's try. Let's try to give her the smack. Oh no, she's way too far back. Although, it does make you wonder. It does make you wonder. Arrow should theoretically be able to fit through there. Um, here, we'll use this, because I'd still rather not kill her. I just want to see if we can damage her. And I got no arrows. Dang it. <laughs> All right, let's just do a uh, standard arrow. Nope. Um, oh, wow. It actually hit her. That is in her forehead. <laughs> but she doesn't take damage. Okay, that's good to know. But still. she's uh, she, We're going to spare her, even if we could. Because, like I said, we don't want to destroy Firelink Shrine. Um, not yet, at least. So I will catch y'all at the next place. All right. Top myself off for good measure here. Um, I think if I remember right, you want to walk off? Yeah. Okay. Walk, don't roll. Make your way down. Get here. Go up a little bit more. And if you haven't guessed already, our next victim is Vamos. So I don't know how well this fight goes. I don't know if I've ever killed him, honestly. Bag of bounds, he says. Oh, oh, yeah, indeed. Let's heal up. Oh, yeah, he's got some crazy combos. The big wind up? Nope. Oh, okay. okay there. And then we can stagger him. Oh, and he just explodes. So, yeah, um, half of his attacks were just like going right through me. So, um, <laughs> can't say that was too hard. And we got the Hammer of Vamos, as well as the Royal Helm. Ooh, I didn't know about that. Actually, I mean, I kind of knew about that. <laughs> I knew there was, like, something other than his hammer that you get. It's actually a pretty styling helmet there. Is that, like, the only Viking helmet in this game? Where the heck is it? Way down here, Royal Helm. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Um, I mean, my face is a little bit beef jerky, so I don't think I'm going to use it, but still, really, really awesome. Let's see. Helm of Vamos, Skeleton of Blacksmith, the Catacombs. Helm of the Weed belongs to an ancient royal line, but only Vamos would know for sure, and he shall never speak again. <laughs> oh. It'd be cool if you could show that to him in New Game Plus, and he'll tell you something, but I'm sure he'd have more questions <laughs> if he did that. I don't think he actually wore the helmet either, if I remember right. Just has a skull. Um, so let's see uh, what his hammer says as well. God, there's so, many, so much junk. Alright. Uh, Metal Hammer Vamos, a skeleton of X-Men, deep within the catacombs. It can be used as a strike weapon, better known, left in the hands of its talented owner. Dang. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, uh, I would say put him out of his misery, but I think he was, he was pretty chill. I think he was having a good time. Uh, let's see, who's next? Who's next? Um, we'll find out momentarily. Okay, and we're back here at the Daughter of Chaos. And you're probably already know who our victim's gonna be. I don't know if I did this last time, but um, yeah, you can you can kill her. And then NG will freak out. Why, it's you, monster! Lady, what have you done? What have you done? So he just completely loses it, as you can see. And then he crawls over to try and um, 
give me his wrath, but you know, he's uh he's not too harmful. I think he can like shoot off some poison or something. Oh I forgot about these things. <laughs> yeah, he is also infected with them, as you can see. I think these things can be pretty deadly, especially in New Game Plus. Yeah, no, these things are literally um, super worms <laughs> that I talked about in the uh, in the episode where we were actually in this area properly. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this this is the real <laughs> challenge here. Okay, I don't expect this to do much, but maybe. Oh, sweet. You know, these things probably are like the larva of those burrowing worms. Uh, I think about it. They got pretty similar anatomy. Okay, <laughs> with that out of the way, I uh, used the Black Knight Sword there. I don't know if I pointed it out, but this is probably truly going to be the last time I use it. So let's bow out for the sword itself. Um, you know, the Fair Lady, she was uh, she was suffering, so we kind of we helped her. I guess I'll say that. So we get some refuges from him uh, and from her. Get a fire keeper cell, which we can't really use. Um, so that puts out the bonfire, but that's fine because there's one right outside. So with that being said, I will put my usual sword back on and catch you at the next place. Okay, we got a few NPCs in the abyss here. Sorry, not the abyss. Ooh, the seal. Uh, first of which is this mushroom. But why? 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 Uh... <laughs> Yes, that is, just try to be more dramatic, why don't you? Get some of Elizabeth's mushrooms, which I think heal you or something. I don't know. Either way, she is not a firekeeper, so that means we can still use this. Uh, we are very close to leveling up. So, next one is... Go to Elizabeth Township. Got two more here. So we already killed uh, Lord's Blade Sunan. <laughs> Probably would have been more fitting for this episode, but what can you do? Um, so first one we're gonna take on is Marvelous Chester. Who, he actually, we already fought him technically, right? Because he invaded us in the first series. I didn't use any humanity <laughs> during my run through this time of the abyss. Uh, so again, sorry, with the seal. Technically the abyss, I don't know. Call it the DLC. So we didn't get invaded, but he's still here. So let's uh, give him a piece of our mind. Oh, it's come to blows, has it? Ooh, Fine, it has. has. Oh, Ooh, that is blood loss. I mean, this guy is literally bloodborne. All right, it's a little bit of a narrow spot to fight him there. All right, come on, come on. Okay. I don't think he has a melee weapon. I think he's just, uh, he, yeah, he'll do that little slide kick. Ow. Which, um, it'd be really cool if there was some way for you to do that. But that would be way too cool, wouldn't it? All right, and that'll do it. You win, please. Oh, please. Have mercy. Then begging for his life in the end. That's, that's what you get. So I'm very curious to see what he gives us. I think we just get his costume, if I recall. We do. So yeah, if you want to do your Bloodborne cosplay, go ahead and kill him. Um, let's just homeward bone real back, back real quick, because I just have so many, and may as well save a minute here. Um, oh, pfft, I forgot the rest of the book there. Um, no biggie. We're going to level up and get our feet up. Okay. So we need 99,000 more souls. Um, that seems doable. Not 99,000 more. We have 17,000, but in order to level up, that's what we'll need. So let's go back to the township because there's one more here that we gotta fight. Might already guess who it is. But in case you can't, it's it's go. We're, we're gonna fight Goff. Hawkeye, Goff. <laughs> and he can be a tricky fight because it's a very sort of confined area, but Get ready to go. Oh, and let's actually rest at the bonfire because I am not confident that we're going to get him on our first try. And I don't feel like warping again if I have to. Okay. So now we've set our location. Let's take long. Could possibly go wrong, right? 
A lot of things can go wrong, I'll tell you that. Only there right now. Okay, but we're almost there. Oh, if only he knew what was in store. So, it'd be nice if we can get him on the first try, because once he's pissed off, I think it's going to be like, he'll start swinging right now, and then probably catch us right as we come up the ladder. So anyway, let's give him a nice smack in the butt. Oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Oh, and look how little damage that did. So this is this is gonna be a boss fight right here, guys. So this is true human nature. A tortoise is in your death, but I'll leave us me little choice. May you perish for the good of all. So yeah, he uh he's not happy. Um, kind of mean, you know, judging all humans based on my actions. And um, I forgot if I pointed that out, but it's kind of annoying that you can't um, heal during dialogue. Ooh, oh god! <laughs> Belly slam there. Alright, uh, I mean, we're doing decently so far. Okay, let's get some stamina. I feel like that belly slam is gonna definitely be a one shot. Oh, man, this guy is sign up for WWE, why don't you? Okay. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that'd be a one shot. Bring him on. Man, what are we gonna get? Go versus John Cena. All right, let's get back up there. I realize I'm so inconsistent if he's Go or Goff. I honestly don't know which one it is off the top of my head. Let's get our souls. Okay, watch out for that. Just think that doesn't stagger me. Okay, get a 1 2 in. And the roll attack. And he is putting so much body weight into this. Whoa! Nearly yeah, got me again. Ow. I'm always heal, guys. What do I say? I'm always heal. That was a little foolish. Ooh, okay, not too bad. Nice and slow. Ow. Ooh, not this time. Oh, okay. Go there real quick. Oh, yeah, he, uh, very drag. A lot of drag on that one. Not today. So let's try that again. Um, if I had an occult weapon, this would go easier, I believe. But I do not. But what I do have is a Black Knight Greatsword. Let's see if this goes any better. Alright, off to a good start already. <laughs> Ooh, man. Okay. Uh, take two. Try to actually swing the sword this time, maybe? Alright, we'll uh, lighten up a bit while we're at it, too. Got those real quick. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, I just am not good on the timing on it. Oh, man, and see, then it throws me off with these other ones. Alright, can we actually hit him? <laughs> That's the question. Roll, okay, good. Oh yeah, that's. I mean, it's more damage. Yeah, that's a lot more damage. Stamina, hit him. Woo! Not today. Okay, there we go. Just 
slowly getting the hang of it. Use the legs. Okay, very nice. And it looks like if you hit him on the armor, it actually does less damage. Can't tell if that's just me though. Belly slam. I see I'm aiming for his elbows, but if I hit his shin guards next, does a little less. Ow. Okay, get out of the way. Okay, almost got him. And he got me. <laughs> oh, man. The DLC does not pull any punches, does it? All right, let's, let's not let this get out of hand again. <laughs> I am so sick of this place. Okay. Sticking his blind spots. Get him right in the butt. Ah, yep, no, going through the legs there. Hits in. That was greedy. Good combo. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Caught healing. Caught healing. This time. Spoke too soon, as always. Okay. Gotta wait a bit on that one. Don't panic roll, or you're dead. Okay, I'm just swinging in the air now. Alright, we'll connect. Oh, follow up, really? Just top ourselves off just in case. Fall back on that one. Another follow up. Okay, okay, okay. Let's finish this. Boom. Dang, okay, that was actually a tough fight. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit. But we eventually got him. And for our rewards, we get Goat's Helm. His armor and his great bow. So that's pretty cool, actually. Um, I mean, his great bow is right here, but we got a little human sized version that I guess he was just working on. Um, yeah, we also we got 40,000 souls, though, so they at least knew it was pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a full on boss fight right there. So, as usual, I will cut to the next one. All right, we're back. And admit it, you forgot about this guy, didn't you? You forgot about him. Um, I know I forgot about him before I checked the list of NPCs. So let's give him a smack. Oh, he is ready to. <laughs> All right, I was not expecting that. He is a poise boy for sure. Cool. Baron Knight wanna be. 
Yeah, let it be known. He's not actually a Baronique Knight. He's, uh, he just scavenged a bunch of their stuff. Okay. And take that, even with your guard up. <laughs> just a little, uh, for us. Yeah, that gets so well, what is it, buddy? Okay, we are short on time. Go burned up a lot of our time here, so I'm gonna cut right to the next one. And we're back for the next one. That's right, we're up to the partner himself. Mr. Will, what is it? Striking the pose for us already. So remember, keep in mind, um, if you want forgiveness, this is the last guy you want to kill because he, uh, once he's mad, <laughs> you can't ask him for forgiveness. Now, we have been executing all the NPCs. Oh. Ooh, the one-shot parry. Well, uh, <laughs> that was a thing. I will cut back and we'll try again. Ah, we're back in Sense Fortress. Okay, let's try this again. Um, oh, he's some menacing guy. Well, he's holding the parrying dagger up in your face. That's not him trying to block you. That's him trying to um, parry you. Oh, nearly got me. Yeah, I don't know why, but some attacks just cannot be parried. Okay, I get it, buddy. You want to parry me. And I get it. I get it. Man, he's just fishing for the parries. <laughs> Almost like he's holding it like it's a cross, right? Because he's a priest. The power of Christ compels you. All right, Perry King, come on, come on. Really? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. All right. Broken right. I'll show you how to deal with a fairy king like this. I'll show you. Okay, okay, so watch this. Watch this, guys. If you ever have someone who's doing this to you, they're just constantly parrying. Oh, because he, he's quick with the parry there. Uh, make, some, make a little bit of distance. Then jumping attack. Because that cannot be uh, parried. Uh, now you gotta make sure you actually land your jumping attack. Yeah, that is how we're gonna take care of this guy. See, we already almost got him. Does he have heals? Oh my god, he does. <laughs> knock him right off. Oh, but he can't be knocked off. All right, nearly got him, nearly got him. He's on the ropes, he knows it. Yep, cornered him now, and finish him. Very, very menacing there. Um, send them off the way he uh, showed us into this world. <laughs> so yeah, not too big of a deal. <laughs> twin humanities. Okay, um, that's interesting. So twin humanities. I guess that kind of disproves the whole twin humanities are from pregnant women kind of thing. Get a book of the guilty as well. Some sort of online play thing. Forget exactly what it does. Um, only other thing worth noting is that uh, he's from the same spot as. Um, Oh, the name is uh, slipping me right now. Um, the guy who was locked up in the jail cell here. Um, God, what was his name? I can't think of it. You know when this happens. You just can't think of the word, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Who killed our firekeeper. They're both from the same place, uh, which is why they both have parrying daggers. So, fun little fun fact there, I guess. Um, so anyway, we have one more victim on our agenda. And I'm not going to cut because there's no need because we are already here. You might already know who he is by now. This is probably the saddest one to do, which is why I saved him for last. Uh, okay, I don't have to rest the bonfire again. Now we're going to take on Andre. Alright, let's have a good clean fight here. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just get to it. Yeah. Oh, see, I, I just ain't in me. Alright. So, like, he is the coolest. Look, he just gets to a boxing stanchion. Dude, this is like real grandpa energy right here. Yeah, he's got, and he has a drop kick like that too. 
Uh, yeah, he is definitely the, one of the coolest NPCs to fight. Uh, I don't want to cheese him though. I don't want to cheese him. Come up here. Come up here. Let's fight. No, no, no. Does he not come up here? Oh no, he'll come up here. Yeah, nice little one-two and a kick. Oh, oh, yeah. He's a. Uh, he's got a fist on him. Okay, okay. Oh, took my jaw, took my jaw right off. Oh, but how cool is that? Just not the only, only. I think he's the only boxer in the game. Kickboxer at that. All right, let's get our souls back. Hope I didn't need anything else from him. <laughs> I think we're about wrapped up with the game, so not too big of a deal. Yeah, he's still pissed. Um, and I want to fight him up here because then if I die, I can just grab my souls without having to be worried about it. You're so close to being max level. <laughs> I don't want to mess this up. Right, nope, come on, come on. Let's fight. Yeah, his uh, his jabs are just so quick. You gotta you gotta do a counter attack or just cheese him on the bonfire, I guess. Uh, and like I said, I can't do that to him. He deserves a fair fight. Oh, ow. Okay, yeah, the one tier is just <laughs> takes off all your health. I don't think you can get knocked down. Okay, okay, whoa, buddy, whoa, buddy. Ooh, good dodge. And will this do it? Nope. Ooh, oh, <laughs> 1-1-2. One, one, Look at that. Grand champion here. Let's go. Andre versus Mike Tyson. Who, who's your money on? Honestly, I think Andre. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's get him for real this time. Might be a little more cheesy with my tactics. Like this, for example. Oh, he said, I don't care about your fire. He's a blacksmith. He's got fire all day. Oh boy. All right, let's uh, let's finish him off like a man here. With our own fist. Although this honestly might take forever. You know what? Right, what did we learn with the calamity ring? I do not want to sign up for more than I can handle. Ah, oh, I feel so bad. Like, the bonfire. Say okay the humanity. Alright, he definitely gets a bow. Look, I didn't want to do it. I'm not a traitor. I just needed to show these guys over here, my viewers, what happens when you fight Andre. No. Pick up his item. Village body. Blacksmith hammer. Not Andre's hammer. Andre's hammer, but blacksmith hammer. Uh, let's go to our weapons and take a look at this one. Where's that? Oh my god, I have so much stuff. Should have gone from the top down. Okay, blacksmith hammer. Metal hammer of Andre of Astora, blacksmith at the old church. Can be used as a strike weapon, better left in the hands of its talented owner, just like this one here. Um, blacksmith's giant's hammer doesn't say that though. But uh, yeah, with that, we have slaughtered all the NPCs. <laughs> um, one last thing to do. I'm pretty. I got way more souls than I thought I would from this whole effort. Um, oh god, I have so many things too. Uh, I'm not gonna make any more boss weapons. I can't make any more boss weapons because I killed uh, our boy, the other giant. So <laughs> let's go ahead and just burn through all of our souls here. Let's see how many we get. Let's see if we can already level up. That is pretty cool. Might fast forward this part. Could take a minute. Okay, 
And here we go. 1,000. Not quite 420,000 souls, but 409,000 is still <laughs> a lot of souls. Um, I mean, I could grind just to get it for the memes, but it's a long night. Yeah, it's not tired. Let's just use our imagination. Um, so, wow. Uh, yeah, we can get that. Um, and then we have like two more levels. <laughs> Maybe a little more vitality. Sure. I don't even is it anything else I would care about. Not really. Yeah, not really. Just get some more help. Uh, and actually confirm our level up, why don't we? But awesome, we hit our goal for our levels. It's pretty cool. I think we had just enough too. 1,644 to spare. All right, guys, that was uh, quite an episode, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, look at the timer. Yeah, this, this went on for quite some time. Didn't realize there were so many NPCs for us to kill. Um, but yeah, with that out of the way, there's just one more thing to do that with episode 68 here wrapping up to an end i can say next episode will be the final episode of let's play dark souls never thought i'd come this far guys but couldn't have done it without you so i'll save the uh lovey dubby stuff for next episode for now i hope you enjoyed watching and i will catch you next time so long <laughs>